Hi, Bob McLeod here to talk about the new Send Newsletters features in TNT MPD 3.0. There's been a couple of great advances in this new release, and I'm excited about it because it's going to help me manage my newsletter list more effectively, and I hope maintain better relationships with my ministry partners. Now, there's three things that I want to cover in this short video. Number one, I want to quickly describe the new Send Newsletter options. Number two, I want to show you how to migrate your email newsletter list into the Send Newsletter field. And number three, I want to show you how to use TNT MPD to do your regular newsletter process. Before I do that, though, let me just point out that we've completely overhauled the help manual for TNT MPD, which you can access by pressing F1 at any time. And now there's an entire section devoted specifically to communicating with your ministry partners. And in the communications area, there's a topic, everything about newsletters, that can explain more to you about all of the newsletter features. Okay, now let's take a look at 3.0. I have a contact here, Fred and Wilma Flintstone, and in the past there was just a send newsletter checkbox, which meant, here where I am, a paper newsletter. But unfortunately, my email newsletter recipients I had to manage in some other way. Well, now I can manage them right here because I can select for any contact, either paper only, email only, or paper and email. There's a couple other ones here, but I'm not going to go into what those are right now. If you look on this contact list on the left, you can see that I have paper mail icons for several of my newsletter recipients. And these were all of the ones who got my newsletter and that were checked send newsletter from TNT MPD 2.1 and before. But my email newsletter recipients, I had to manage using a saved group. So these were my 36 email newsletter recipients. Now this wasn't a big deal. I would just look up this group and then begin to walk through creating an email newsletter, either as a mass email or an email mail merge or something like that. But still, it was a, a hassle to manage one list one way and one the other way, especially when I had contacts who were receiving both newsletters. So now let me show you how I'm going to migrate this group of 36 contacts to the newsletter list and select the correct one for them. Okay, if you look down here in the Send Newsletter area, Notice that the field is grayed out. So it says paper only, but it's grayed out, which means no newsletter. I want to go to Group Actions, Mass Change of Field, because I want to change the newsletter type for all of these people simultaneously, rather than to go through each one, one at a time, select their newsletter type, and then check the box. So I'm going to Mass Change of Field. Now I'm going to need to do this two times. The first time to select the type of newsletter they're going to receive. The second time to check the box that they are going to receive the newsletter. So the first time, the field that I want to select is called Newsletter Media Preference. So I just start typing that in that box and it pops up. Newsletter Media Preference. And for this group, I'm going to select Email Only. And I click OK. And I agree, yes, I do want to update all of these records to the email newsletter. So notice it has now changed to email only for this person and for any contact in this group. Unfortunately, the send newsletter checkbox has not appeared. And so as a result, you don't see any of the newsletter icons here. So to change these, I need to go back to group actions. Again, mass change of field. And this time the field is the same as the title there, send newsletter. And that equals true. So once I do this, all of these are going to have this box checked and you'll see the icons appear next to their name. And there we go. So now I've got all 36 of these contacts have an e-newsletter icon, which is just the at symbol. So let me show you just a couple other things here. Let's say I've got this contact Daisy Fuentes, whose address email address is test at blah, 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 blah dot com. And I double click in her address here and I uncheck that because her email is invalid. It has come back wrong. But notice now that her icon has changed to a red one. Now I could have said email with paper backup because I have a mailing address for her. And the nice thing about doing that is, I'm sorry, let me do this for her. Email with a paper backup. Because now if you look at Daisy, it says an email newsletter with a red mark through it, meaning it's invalid. Therefore, she's going to get a paper email, a paper newsletter. So there's 10 different combinations of newsletter recipients, paper, email, paper and email, uh, email with paper backup, 
email with paper backup and the email is invalid. So just some great new ways that TNT MPD helps you manage your newsletter list. Because frankly, keeping in touch with our partners is one of the most critical things we do in building relationships with our ministry partners. Okay, so I've shown you what the newsletter options are and I've shown you how to migrate your list uh, into the specific newsletter type that you wanna use. Now let me show you quickly this newsletter tools helper that's gonna help you produce your newsletter every month or whenever you do it. Okay, when you select the newsletter tools helper, it's gonna just pop up buttons that'll do what TNT MPD already does before. So receive news paper newsletter, for example, simply does look up newsletter recipients, paper recipients. That's all it does. It just runs this lookup for you, but it does it all in one uh, checkbox. So here's all of my paper newsletter recipients. And notice each one of them has the paper newsletter icon, including Daisy Fuentes, because at this moment she is a paper newsletter recipient because her email is invalid. So TNT brings that power to you to help get the newsletters out. And then I can either do the mail merchant there or export it to a file if I'm using a newsletter service or if I'm using a software like Publisher that does not link with TNT MPD. And then finally, I've got the log group history, which is gonna go ahead and create the newsletter log. So I might type my newsletter here, 2013-07, send newsletter video newsletter that I'm writing about creating this video. And when I do this, look on the details, it's gonna mark that this is a mass mailing and it's gonna record it for all 39 of these newsletter recipients. And I've always done this. I've been recording my newsletter for years as a group history because I like to know when did a contact first started getting their newsletter and what were the topics of my newsletters whenever I sent them. And it really helps me ensure that all of my partners get a newsletter. I once had a partner who I inadvertently unchecked the box and they went 12 whole months without getting my newsletter. And so I, I, I try not to let that happen anymore. And so recording it like this helps me be able to look back and make sure that everyone's got their newsletter. Just gonna go ahead and log those history items and I close this up. Let's take a quick look at the history and there it is. See, the newsletter was done and Clark Kent did it and here's the description of it. I, again, I like to do this because it actually tells me what was the topic of my newsletter every time I sent one. And then because I've got appointments and phone calls and thank yous and other things in this history list over time, I can actually hide the newsletters from them so that it doesn't gunk up my history list. All right, that's the send newsletters video. Again, I recommend you press F1 in TNT MPD and, and read the everything about newsletters topic. It goes into a lot more detail about all of the things I just mentioned. Thanks so much and have a great day.